Do you feel lazy to wash your hands so frequently? Are you fed up already? Let me tell you a story. This story dates back to that era when microorganisms were not yet discovered. We knew nothing about infections and germs. The story is about a man who changed the world. His name was Ignaz Philip Semmelweis. Born in the Buda part of Hungary in 1818, he was just another child born to an ordinary business family. But his quest for knowledge led him to study law only to realize that his true love was medicine. After finishing his medical degree in 1844, he joined the Vienna General Hospital to specialize in obstetrics. He was the junior most but very enthusiastic doctor in the team. In those days, maternal death was very common, especially if you were delivering in a hospital. Out of 3000 mothers who delivered babies at his hospital, about 600 died of puerperal fever also known as childbed fever each year the fact that among mothers who delivered at home only 1% died worried semelvis he did use that doctors were carrying the disease and in fact killing their patients the genius in him identified the hands of the doctor as the culprit To think of something like that when you are totally unaware of the disease causing organisms forget the way they spread he established his theory by decreasing the maternal mortality rate of his clinic to straight 1% after introducing chlorine water to wash their hands between patients he started advising his senior doctors to wash their hands with chlorine water but would they take advice from the junior most doctor in the clinic never it led to his dismissal from the hospital but did he stop it no never again did he succeed in his mission yes indeed but at the cost of his life do you want to know how He was very bothered about his findings and started writing angry letters to those who asked for an explanation for his theory. He accused prominent gynecologists for murdering their patients. He berated every colleague of his when they forgot to scrub their hands. Everybody including his wife started thinking that he was losing his mind and he finally ended up in a lunatic asylum. He was a lunatic, all right. He was obsessed with the idea that he started advising police officers and guards in the asylum to wash their hands frequently. The replies from the officers came as beatings, which caused a wound in his hand that ironically led to his death 14 days after by septic shock. He was only 47 years old at that time. Two decades later, the findings of Louis Pasteur and Joseph Lister proved that Ignaz was telling the right thing. Do you know what people call him now? The savior of mothers, the father of infection control. But by the time he got the reputation he deserved, he was buried deep under the grave. So my dear friends, when you feel irritated, by frequent hand washing during this time of pandemic just remember people have died for this cause you and i would not have survived if not for their sacrifices they are the martyrs of medicine the real heroes so dears please wash your hands break the chain and do not stop the fight against corona because we have to win this battle